So now let's start working on our project. Therefore, I'm going to open here my project and then I'm going to first of all open the connection one more time. And then here in the connection, make sure that everything is correct. Make sure, make sure that the credentials are correct here. And also here, you don't need to say connected successfully. You need to remove this. There is no need to display this anymore. If there is an error, it's going to be displayed. Otherwise, it's just now it's just going to continue and it's going to get our data or do whatever we say. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click here on this on this uh, new in order to create a new file. So the first step is that we need to, before I create a file, let me here walk you through the structure. So the structure, as I told you, in order to create a com complete API, we need four things to, we need to create four things. First, we need to get, we need to get all uh, movies or a single movie. Second, we need to insert or create. It's it's uh, it's either called insert or create. And then third, we need to update. Update whenever we insert something. Uh, in the future, we might need to update that thing that or that movie that we have inserted. Fourth, we need to delete. We need to be able to delete whatever we have in the database. So this, these are the four steps that any uh, API uh, uh, requires in order to, to be a complete API. Now let's, let me create the first file. So the first file here, I'm going to click on this and then on this icon. And then I'm going to say here, get underscore all underscore movies dot PHP. Again, it's very important to give give a very meaningful name because people who are going to work on this uh, usually are not uh, the people who have created this are not members of the team that has worked on this project. So you need here to make sure that this is very meaningful here. It says get all movies. Very, very straightforward. And then hit enter. And now here in this get uh, all movies, we need here to say... PHP, we need to start the PHP script. And then let me zoom in so that you can see. And let me start uh, explaining what I'm going to do. The first step is that we need to import, we need first of all to import the the uh, the connection. Because we cannot work with the database unless we connect to the database. Therefore, I'm going to say here require, first of all, I'm going to say require once, once, and then I'm going to here say connection, connection dot connection dot PHP. That way we imported all of the code that we have here in the connection here in the get all movies, meaning that whenever we try to execute this file, it's going to first make sure that we are connected to the database. The second thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to specify a header here just above the header usually goes first. But I, I'm gonna just uh, I have just delayed explaining this because the require once is more important. And here the the header is is considered a one of the best practices. So here you need to specify the header. So the at the end of the file we need the content to be content uh, JSON. So the content type here I'm gonna say content type, and then the the type of the content. So the type of the content is going to be application JSON. Application, application, JSON. This line is important, but if you don't specify this file, your application, your your project is still going to work. But in some cases, it's it might not work. Therefore, the header is is better to add the header. It's very important to it's it's better to add the header. To your application in order to make sure in order to uh, to to make sure that it, uh, that the file is gonna work uh, on all applications because some applications might not accept this file. So th these are the first two things that we need. Then what we need to do now is that we need to select the data that we want to th that we want from the database. So we want from the database is that uh, what we want from the database is that we want to connect to the database and then we want to get all of the movies. We want to get all of the movies. Therefore, I'm going to say here connect con, which refers to the connect object object that we have here. Connect 
which is the connection to the database here connect and then we can call a function called prepare to prepare the statement that we can ex execute in order to get data from the database so the the um, the statement is to select everything from the database so I'm gonna say select select all from from movies so let me explain this quickly select means that we need to select and then star here or asterisk here means that we need to select everything so just give us everything from from and then movies from the the table that is called movies that's it very very simple and straightforward and then I'm gonna store the result here in a variable called statement and usually it's named stmt short for statement and then we need to execute this statement this this is called SQL or MySQL statement statement or query some some developers some developers call it statement others call it query statement or query so we need to execute this to execute this query we say statement and then we call a function called execute very straightforward and then after we execute we just need to uh, use if statement to make sure that the that the state that the uh, the query has been uh, ex executed successfully so I'm gonna say here I'm gonna uh, say here a uh, statement and then execute execute and then we can here inside this we can move on and get data because here the the um, statement or query ex was executed successfully else else we have an error else here here we have we have an error so this is redundant by the way you can do this twice you can execute twice but it's not recommended so you can you can only leave one so I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna only use this if uh, statement uh, execute and then after we execute what we want to do is that we want to get the results so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use here in, in case of success I'm gonna use the statement statement and then I'm gonna say get I'm gonna say get result this function is used in in PHP to get the result get everything pretty much everything from the database and then I'm gonna store the result in a variable called result so this result variable contains all of the results and finally we need to loop over the results because the results is gonna be an array it's gonna be an array of objects so it's gonna be an array with many data it's gonna be an array of data so we need to say while while we have while we have the result while we have the result we want to fetch array fetch array my sql uh, associative my sql associative this is going to return my sql associative is going to return an associative array meaning that it's going to re return an array like this an array which has keys and values so it, it's going to have a key called title and then the value is going to be the value of the title which is in our case is, is going to be the joker and then it's going to also return the storyline as a key storyline and then the storyline which is uh, here in our case it's just a simple uh, text so this is the meaning of associative array and then each time we get each time we get a result a single result we want to store it in a variable called draw we want to store it in a variable called draw and then we want to um, we want to um, create an array that we are gonna give to the caller we are, are gonna give to the person who is gonna be using our API therefore we need to create here here at the top we need to create a an array called movies which is gonna store array which is gonna store all of the uh, movies that we got so this movies is gonna be let me add this in a new line and then I'm gonna say 
this array stores all of the results and then here for uh, for the get let me add a comment here get all results from database database and then here loop and get each single raw and then inside the while we want to get that raw and then we want to insert it into the movies array so I'm gonna say here movies movies and then movies and then um, square brackets and then is gonna be equal movies is gonna be equal to the raw this line this line means that each time each time we get a raw each time we get a raw we insert it into the database so for example if we get the first row, it's going to be inserted in the, into the movies um, array. The second time we get another movie, it's going to also be inserted into the movies array. That way, the movies array is going to contain all of the rows that we have in the database. And that's it. Finally, what we want to do is that we want to return that movie to the user. Therefore, I'm going to create. I'm going to create at the top here a. Um, a variable called response that response is going to be also an array which contains all of the results that we want not just the movies I'm going to also include other things such as a success message so that the caller or the, or the user who's going to use or who's going to use our API uh, knows that uh, the the data has been returned successfully or not so here I'm going to use this response uh, response array and then I'm going to store a few keys into it. So the first key that I'm going to store is called error, which is going to be here. In this case, is going to be false. And then, and then we want to store the movies in the key called movies, which is going to be equal to the movies. And finally, I'm going to store here in this response, I'm going to store a, a message. I'm going to say here message. And then I'm going to say this message is going to be of a type string and it's going to say movie or movies uh, return return successfully. And as you can see, that's it. This is in case of success. In case of success, the error, let me explain this, the error is going to be false, meaning that there is no error because here because because let me zoom out because we have executed our query successfully so there is no error and the movies is going to be the movies that we got this this uh, array which is going to be stored in a key in another array called response and then the response message is going to be a message just a string to just to let to let the user know that the movies have the movies have been returned successfully so this is in case of success let me here draw the the um, structure of the response so the response is going to be an array it's going to be an array and inside that array we, we are going to have error key called error and that key is going to be true or false if it's false it means that we have the data and then we are going to have also the movies the movies is going to be an array it's going to be an array and each and inside that a big array we will have the uh, movies one two three it doesn't matter it can be 100 movies but we are we are going to have movies here inside this movies uh, uh, key and finally we are going to have the message and the message is going to be just a string here string which says movies returned successfully. So this is the structure of what we are going to return to the user in case of success.